हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ट्राइंगल ऑफ डूम एंड कोरोना मॉर्टिस नाउ दीज टू फीचर्स आर विजिबल व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द लैपरोस्कोपिक एनाटॉमी ऑफ एंटीरियर एब्डोमिनल वॉल द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट यू आर नॉट एबल टू अप्रिशिएट दीज फीचर्स व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एंटीरियर सरफेस ऑफ एंटीरियर एब्डोमिनल वॉल for appreciation of these two features you have to pass the laparoscope inside the abdominal cavity and then you have to see it from the posterior aspect of anterior abdominal wall now triangle of doom is a area where you are having a deep inguinal ring which is forming the apex of the triangle of doom so this is your deep ring and from the deep ring you know that there are two very important structures entering into the inguinal canal one is known as vas deferens another is known as testicular artery so one boundary is formed by the vas deferens another boundary is formed by the testicular artery and the base is formed by the peritoneal fold so these are the three important boundaries of your triangle of doom now what is the importance of the triangle of doom because it contains the two major vessels one is your iliac vein and another is your external iliac artery so my dear students this is a very commonly asked question in your exam what are the boundaries of the triangle of doom so apex is formed by the deep inguinal ring the lateral boundary is formed by the testicular artery medial boundary is formed by the vas deferens and the base is formed by the peritoneal fold and it contains the external iliac artery and vein so let's see this triangle of doom where it is present in the anterior abdominal wall so you know that this is your anterior abdominal wall we have removed the skin superficial layer and here you are able to see that this is your external oblique muscle now in the external oblique aponeurosis we have a superficial inguinal ring through which you can see that this is your spermatic cord and this is your scrotal sac now in this spermatic cord you have the layers like external spermatic fascia internal spermatic fascia cremastic fascia so we have removed all these layers of the spermatic cord now for the study purpose we are having right now only the two contents of the spermatic cord which are concerned with the triangle of doom one you can see here is a testicular artery and another is this green color duct is your vas deferens the remaining structures i have removed for the better understanding so now here you can see that uh, through this superficial inguinal ring you are having the inguinal canal so these structures are passing through the inguinal canal and you know that at the other end of the canal you will find the deep inguinal ring so if you will remove this anterior wall of the inguinal uh, canal you can see that the structures are entering into the deep ring and we know that deep ring is a defect or it is a aperture in the posterior wall that is fascia transversalis so <clears throat> this is the one thing to understand second thing is that this is the inguinal ligament and below the inguinal ligament in front of the hip bone there is a gap now through this gap you are having the entry of the muscles in the front of thigh and two major vessels so this is iliacus and swas major you will have the femoral artery will continue from the external iliac artery and this is the external iliac vein so these structures are there and along with that you are having a small gap also here which is known as femoral ring so my dear students before reading the triangle of doom you should have the idea about this basic layers and the structures of your inguinal canal now in this next video you can see that if we will flip this anterior abdominal wall and if you will see the anterior abdominal wall from the posterior side so this is the posterior view of your anterior abdominal wall which is covered by the peritoneum and here you can see that these are the contents of the triangle of doom now this is your external iliac vein and this is external iliac artery now now here you can see that this is the location of your deep inguinal ring now from the deep ring you can see that this is the testicular artery which is going in a upper direction and this is the vas deferens which is going into the pelvis and you know that it will open in the posterior part of your uh, prostate where it will join with the ejaculatory duct so now at this point what you are able to understand that this is the apex of the triangle of doom and one boundary is formed by your artery and one boundary is formed by your vas deferens and what is the importance of this triangle of doom i just told you that in the triangle of doom 
you have the two major vessels. One is known as external iliac artery and another is external iliac vein. So, this is the important point that this is the apex of your triangle of doom. Clear? So, what is the apex of triangle of doom? The deep ring and from the deep ring you have the bifurcation of the structure. The gonadal artery is going in upward direction while the vas deferens is going downward direction and here you have the two important contents which are lies just deep to this deep ring which are known as external iliac artery and external iliac vein. Clear? So, this is what is about the triangle of doom. The next part is the corona mortis. Now, what is corona mortis? Now, the corona mortis is nothing but it is a anastomosis. What is that corona mortis? It is a vascular anastomosis. Now, this vascular anastomosis present between the external iliac artery or its branch that is inferior epigastric artery and with the obturator artery. So, what is corona mortis? Corona mortis defined as a vascular anastomosis and the anastomosis occurs between the branch of external iliac artery or inferior epigastric with obturator artery and this corona mortis lies in, in relation to the superior pubic rami on posterior side. Again, here you can see that this is your pubic symphysis this is your superior pubic rami and behind this superior pubic rami here you are able to see this connection. Now this connection is known as corona mortis and this is your external iliac artery and here you can see that this is your obturator artery. This obturator artery is coming out here through the obturator groove in the medial compartment and in between them you are able to see this anastomosis which is known as corona mortis. So, let us see here that when you are talking about the dissection, when you will see the uh, corona mortis, you have to first try to understand that this is your external iliac artery, this is your internal iliac artery which are the two branches of this common iliac. Now, from the internal iliac and, and you have the anterior division, you are having the obturator artery and between the obturator artery and this uh, external iliac artery, you are having an anastomosis and this anastomosis lies in relation to this superior ramus of the pubis and you will see that this is on the posterior side. So, my dear students, on this side opposite side also, you can see that this is your superior rami of the pubic bone and behind this superior rami of pubic bone, you will find this vascular anastomosis. So, what is corona mortis? Corona mortis is nothing but it is a vascular anastomosis between the external iliac artery and obturator artery. Now, here you can see that again if you will see the relation of the corona mortis and triangle of doom, what you will find that posteriorly when you will see the anterior abdominal wall, as I already told you that triangle of doom apex present near the deep inguinal ring. So, we have removed the posterior bones for the better view and now when you will enter inside, you can see that this is your vast difference from both the side. Now, this vast difference is starting inside from the deep ring. So, first you have to lo locate the deep ring and there is a one more important artery here is inferior epigastric artery. So, that inferior epigastric artery lies just next to your deep inguinal ring. So, here now you can see that this is your vas difference and this is the another artery which is your testicular artery. So, one is the vas difference, one is your gonadal artery. So, that is marking of your deep inguinal ring and this is your iliac artery, this is external iliac artery, this is your obturator artery and it is going into the obturator groove and in between them you are having a connection and this connection is the corona mortis. So, corona mortis is lies just next to your uh, triangle of doom. So, when you are doing the dissection, you have to first locate the deep inguinal ring. On the deep inguinal ring, you will find the bifurcation of the structure that is your gonadal vessel and the vas difference. Now, next to the vas difference, if you will see here in the zoom, what you are able to see that the vas is going like this, gonadal vessel going like this and this corona mortis is just medial to the vas difference. That means your triangle of doom is here 
and it is medial to the triangle of doom. Which artery? Corona mortis or this vascular anastomosis. Clear? So, whenever we are talking about the posterior layer, posterior view of anterior wall, from this posterior view of anterior wall, you can see that this is the deep ring and this deep ring is showing the bifurcation of your testicular artery or the gonadal vessel and the vast difference. The gonadal vessel is going in upward direction because it is going along with the your pelvic brim and it is coming from the aorta. While it is going in a downward direction in the lesser pelvis because it is going to on the posterior aspect of your urinary bladder. So, this bifurcation is forming the boundary of your triangle of doom. Here you will have this triangle of doom and next to this triangle medially you will find this corona mortis which is a vascular anastomosis between the branches of external iliac artery. So, this is the external iliac which is a contained of triangle of doom and with this obturator artery and you know that this obturator artery is going into this obturator foramen. So, in between them you will find this anastomotic channel which is known as corona mortis. So, my dear students again it is important to understand that whenever we are talking about the triangle of doom and corona mortis you have to always keep their relation in your mind. So, in this uh, image again I will show you this. Now, there is a one more thing is there is a connection with the inferior epigastric artery. Now, here you can see that this is the external iliac and this external iliac is giving a branch and this branch is inferior epigastric. You know the inferior epigastric runs along the posterior surface of anterior abdominal wall. So, here you can see this is the rectus sheath, here you will see the arcuate line and it enters into the posterior wall of the rectus sheath. So, this is your inferior epigastric artery. But sometimes this corona mortis may have a connection with the obturator artery with this inferior epigastric. So, this is your ex external iliac. From the external iliac, you can see that this is your inferior epigastric. This is your corona mortis and this is your obturator artery. So, this corona mortis may have connection with hair or it may have connection with this origin of inferior epigastric artery. So, corona mortis may have a connection with direct external iliac or with inferior epigastric and it connect with the obturator artery. So, these are the two very important surgical anatomy of anterior abdominal wall. Thank you.